It's Doodle Time with John and Daisy, your Colorado real estate experts. Hello, it's John and the marvelous Miss Daisy, the Doodle Realtor. And we've been talking about competitive offer situations this morning. So one thing we see some buyers do is they go out there and they go house hunting and they find the one. And then, you know, their agent called, their buyer's agent calls the list agent and they find out that there's four or five offers on the property. And they're like, oh, we're out. We're not going to overpay. We're not going to get involved in that craziness. You know, we're not going to compete for a house, but that's a mistake. So if you've been out there shopping and you identify one and four other people want to buy it, that just means you found a good one that in the marketplace, it stands out. So we win, you know, competitive offer situations a lot because, you know, I've, when I'm a listed agent and I have five offers on a house, you know, one agent will send an offer, won't even call, won't even text. They're just not doing a good job for their buyers. You know, the next agent may send an email, you know, then the next e agent, they'll call, they'll text, they'll, they'll tell us how much their buyers love the house, which helps, you know, and they'll do a good job of having their lender call and tell us how qualified the buyers are. Um, you know, so when you're buying a house and you're in a competitive offer situation, the answer is don't shut down, have your agent do all the things right. And of, let's say there are five offers on the house and you're, there's two higher than you. You still might win it if you have the right agent and the right lender and they fight for you and the sellers listen to their listed agent and, and they really want to sell it to the party that wants the house that communicates well, that maybe uses some of the competitive offer clauses, such as limiting inspection matters a little bit, maybe put in an appraisal gap. And, you know, there's a lot of different ways to win. So if you wait until you're the only offer on a given house, what you might be doing is paying more than market value. Honestly, you might be buying one that has something that isn't ideal about it that maybe you're not seeing. So the moral of the story is don't back down from competitive offers. Get in the fight, right? Daisy, well, you're not up for fighting yet this morning, but your highlight reel will show you that you've been very active. Right now, you're very sleepy. Let's move on to that and have a great day. Thank you for watching this episode of The Doodle Realtor with John and the star of the show, Miss Daisy. If you'd like to connect and talk about real estate with this dynamic duo, please feel free to click on the calendar link below. And most importantly, just make it a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and be kind to others.